Hello, and this is going to be my submission video for Scott Manley's challenge on the fastest possible space mission. Um, now a few things, I'm going to show you my rocket here before I go over. I did already record my flight, uh, which I got a time of 2 minutes and 15 seconds, but I thought I would show off the rocket beforehand so, you know, you don't think I'm cheating or anything. Now for my rocket design here, I did use pretty much the monopropellant engines, uh, which uh, you didn't say anything in the video about it not being acceptable, so I'm hoping that I don't get disqualified for some reason. Uh, of course, I'm using the, um, uh, the supports here to get my rocket initial height as much as possible. Saves a little bit of altitude here. And then I'm using the 750 monopropellant here in a bamboo staging style. So pretty much these ones all fire downwards until this tank is gone. I did have to add this little girder here because otherwise it caused the top portion to explode when this dropped. So that just added a little bit of security. Um, but yeah, the reason I use the 750 and not the 100 for primary reasons is it's too hard to actually stage them quickly enough. Um, I'm just, I guess, not skilled enough to get it done. And also by the fact that um, the uh, fuel versus their weight ratio is better with these ones. And I found I had better results that way. Uh, also, I did have to add a um, SAS module here. I don't really want the weight, but it was kind of necessary because otherwise the, the uh, spacecraft would tip over. And this keeps it on just enough, so I had to add that in there. Now, for the other part after this goes, so it pretty much thrusts up to uh, about 1,700 meters a second in this here. Uh, then it stops, and we glide upwards uh, using our momentum to about 68,400 is the mark. I uh, tried to hit, could never get it exact. And then I fired these engines, and it pretty much decelerated me and shot me downward at about 2,600 meters per second. Uh, the reason I have so much more here is because this is affected by the drag, and so I kind of wanted to be higher up when the main thrust to weight ratio advantage came from this. Well, on the way down, I wanted almost an instant transition since we weren't in the atmosphere. Um, and so I was able to get a lot more speed. Now, uh, as far as the landing goes, just try and time the parachute as quickly as possible. I did make it so it was an altitude of 50, but realistically, I was trying to launch it around uh, 40, 30 to 40 meters off the ground. Um, never got it perfect, but I got it pretty close. And uh, Also, I was trying to aim, if possible, for the VAB, though I was never able to land on it. I imagine I could probably have cut off another second or two if I was able to land on the vehicle assembly building. But anyways, here is my run of it.